Christmas. Hey, everyone. Oh, Jesus. You weren't even trying to be tuneful just then. So we had you my hardest. Saturday, Ponyo. Sunday, Totoro. Totoro. Monday, we don't even need to say it. And today, we have another movie from Ghibli Studio. Ghibli, Ghibli Studio. Ghibli's. I am wearing my Christmas jumper and Stijo is just not feeling the festivities this year. I don't know why. I like Christmas. Where's your Christmas jumper? I've got a Christmas jumper. Oh God, don't come back naked. <laughs> oh my God. I know what he's going to do. That is not what I expected. <laughs> it's my Christmas jumper. Wait, where did you get like the the coloring pen and? Uh, wouldn't you like to know? I would like to know because we have coloring pens in this house. Christmas. You should have come back with nothing on, but just that covering your. <laughs> <I'm a nips>. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, well, I guess. But then I'd mess up my hair. Oh, oh dear. So I guess we're going with that. Um. I, w I wanted to say, hopefully today's movie is not that sad. I read a little bit of the synopsis and then I was like, oh, Merry Christmas. So the seven days of movies, we are just about over halfway through now. So including this one, it'll be four, four more left. He's got one movie that he keeps asking me to react to, but we never have enough time. Maybe you'll get it. watch it. It's going to be the Christmas Day movie and you're all going to love it. No, it's not. The Christmas Day movie is already decided. <sighs> But I'm not gonna tell you what it is. <laughs> now, don't forget if you want to watch this movie unedited, to head on over to my website suzylou.co.uk and become a VIP. Are you gonna keep that on? If you want to buy my limited edition Christmas merch, you can buy it at uh, all good drugstores. <sighs> right. I am so sorry. I only picked this movie like ten minutes ago, and I don't know the name of it. But that doesn't matter because you guys will know it'd be in the title. We could have been watching the movie I wanted to watch and we're watching one you just picked 10 minutes ago. But the synopsis was really, really good. Really, really good. Okay, sit back, popcorn, all that good stuff. And let's get into the movie. Better be wearing your Christmas jumpers. Better have your Christmas jumpers on. Let me know in the comments. I've got Guardians of the Galaxy. I've got Christmas. <sighs> Here we go. Totoro! Oh, it's this idiot again. It's not a Totoro movie. 1988. I wasn't even born! One year before I was born. September 21st, 1945. 1945. That was the night I died. Oh! Oh, he died. Well, that escalated fast. Quickly. That's going to be really loud and annoying. My well, Christmas jumpers are nice. <laughs> He's like, what kind of Christmas movie is this? Santa comes, I promise. Spoilers. Oh, Wait, are they... Oh, sorry. Are they dead? Just... No, no, I think it's just homeless. These bums are a disgrace. Wow. Talk about being so helpful. You're a disgrace! Well, I should give him a rice ball. Well, I'm not talking about her, but everybody else's opinion. Tell me, what day is it? I don't know. It's Christmas. <laughs> but does he know it's Christmas at all? I told you it's going to be one of those kind of movies. Another one. I don't think he's dead. He was alive at like two seconds ago. What is this stuff? Oh, what does it matter? Just dump it. Oh. No, no, it's his. Don't dump his stuff. Rude. What do you think it's? I don't know. I didn't really get a good look at it to this see. This one's a goner too. Why are you so casual about people being dead? Well, it's food, clearly, but... What do you mean clearly? Could be anything. Tea's a rice ball. Oh, oh, oh! That's littering, sir. That is littering, considering you're the one to pick it up. Is that a bone? Fireflies in the sky. Ponyo! 
You wouldn't believe your eyes when 10 million fireflies Oh my god. Lit up the sky as I fell asleep. Wait, so that's him? The guy that's dead on the inside? And is that the bone? Yeah, because when he picked that up, it had no bone next to it. Like, it was some other dimension or something. Must be. That There you go, guys. That's what the movie is. Christmas. <laughs> Give me that. Oh. No. Stole my Christmas jumper. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you remember the, like, top 20 Ghibli movies that was in a list? Nope. On an article that we went through. Sure. This was like number three or something like that. Oh, okay. So I trust it. But then should I, because Ponyo was like 17th. So was it actually? It was, yeah. That's Bill, man. I was like, excuse me, Ponyo's like the best. What was number one? I can't remember. Oh. I did look it up though, and the movie was like two hours 15, and I was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> we'll probably watch it. Hopefully. Well, what was it with you in long movies? I get fidgety, like if I have to sit for any length of time. Without food, you know. You know what it is. <laughs> Without food. I've got some M&Ms in my office. No, they're crunchy though. Yeah, it's the crispy M&Ms. So this must be based in like a war time. Like yeah, I'm getting that, yeah. yeah, getting that vibe. Where did you see 45? That's what it says at the start. Right. Screw doing that with your Crocs on. I don't know, man. Jariah runs across rooftops with them on, so. <laughs> Satsuko? Be a good girl and listen to your brother. Mom, mm. never mind us. Get to the shelter. Yes, yes. That was the name he said as he died. Mom, Six. do you have your medicine with you? I have it right here, don't worry. Oh, he's a good son. Like, he cares a lot. I hate the shelter. Well, you'll be sorry if you get blown up by a bomb. Good lord, get she's on. like five. I'm the truth, though. Well, that's a good way of doing it, isn't it? I know. Till he falls over. <laughs> Oh, I'm assuming Dad's away at war. Not better hurry up. I thought he was just gonna like jump into his boots just then. Much more realistic. <laughs> so that's the problem with you untying your you taking your shoes off to go inside. Oh, is that not just like a train or a kettle or something? I don't know. Oh no, it is bombs, I think. You might want to get moving. Oh god. That, like, that's so horrible! Jesus. What are they dropping? Huh? Was it some kind of chemical coming off of them, or...? I was worried he's gonna burn his sister's oh, butt then. I was like, be careful. It doesn't make much sense for him just to drop the little. Oh. Sita! Sita! Unless they were dropping them so that buildings and all that would go on fire. Yeah, but. But then why not just drop, drop bombs? bombs? Money, maybe? I mean, that doesn't make much sense. I don't know, maybe that's happened. A bunch of assholes, though, just destroying everyone's houses like that. Oh, well, yeah, it was the war. But that's it. I don't like the shelter. Well, <laughs> where did the mum go, like, before this? She went to the shelter. But why without the kids? I don't know. Pony! Oh, no. uh oh, the pony thing's on fire. Are you dropping enough? Well, that's called carpet bombing. Now, say we're living through a pandemic just now, but like, imagine all the kids that grew up with that. I know. Well, they'd be what? Seventies now? Eighties? Their age? If anybody did have that, and did he not say nineteen forty-five? Yeah, in the forties. So. Can you yeah. imagine the stories that they would have to tell? Yep, eighties, nineties. <laughs> My grandma can tell you the stories about the war. Yeah. 
Oh, she's terrified. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh man, when I said that there's a chance you might cry watching this movie, I think so. Oh my god. The Japanese definitely done some Questionable things. things. <laughs> It's all been kind of lost in history though, hasn't it? Hmm, that's because everyone only thinks about Japan as Kawi! Where's Mama? I want Mama! Why, she's in the shelter. That's if she made it. How far away was the bloody shelter? It's always hard because I look at kids like, oh, be a kid, but she would have had to grown up so fast in all of this. Yeah. Are you okay, Satsuko? I lost one of my shoes. Oh. Huh? Don't worry, I'll buy you better ones. That doesn't stop the wet feet right now, though, does it? Oh. Oh my God, she's adorable. <laughs> you better watch out, cause Jiraiya will be coming after your money. <laughs> Oh no, it's the rain that makes you old. <laughs> it's playing Death Stranding right now. <laughs> well, I guess that's what happens though, isn't it? When like the fire and the smoke gets up in the atmosphere and it causes rain, doesn't it? No. No? <laughs> Not in the slightest. I am a weatherman. <laughs> I'm a wizard. I'm a weather wizard. No, not in the slightest, no. <clears throat> what was that <clears throat> game I played? The watercolour war game. It had 11-11 in it, Valley if I remember. Hearts? Oh no. no. But this reminds me of that game. It's all gone. That was the Civic Hall. We ate lunch there once. Don't know. The one I was playing. That's Valiant Hearts. Sita, is our house gone too? Probably. What do we do? Dad will make them pay for this. My dad alone will stop this entire war. That's what I would tell my little sister anyway. Mother! Mother! <laughs> so sad to think, isn't it? Like the, the human cost of... The what? human cost of? Of what people were doing. We're all in the same boat. Well, at least we're still alive. But look how positive they're being as well, where it's like, well, we know we have each other. Whereas nowadays, it's like if someone walks in front of your house, you're like, you! You know, we're kind of crazy now. I don't know much about wars in history. What's this based on? World War II. World War II. What's wrong? My eye hurts. Don't rub it. Oh. We'll get it washed out at the school. Where's Mama? She'll be there. At school? Yes, let's go. Be all the ash and all that, like getting stuck in your eye. Yeah. Never rub your eye though. Oh, the scratches you get are the worst. I know I was in World War II, obviously. <laughs> Back in my day. <gasps> oh, Sata. Oh, thank God the mum is actually alive. Yeah. I, I was not expecting that. Oh no, it's not. She's been injured. Go to her. Oh. Well, not your sister. Oh, she, she, you do look like the mom. Okay, I was gonna say. <laughs> her character just looked the same. Although we only barely saw her for like a second, so. Yeah. Excuse me. She actually looked a lot like the mother out of, uh... Ah. Oh, Santa, I'm glad you're here. Are you okay? Totoro. My mom? This way. Oh, I thought that was his mother. Oh. That was a man. No, the girl that was lighting, light, light eating, light eating, lying down. Yeah, that was a man too. In here. Oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Wow. She's finally fallen asleep. Your mother really should be in a proper hospital. We can't do much here. I wouldn't touch her. My God. Can she get her medicine? Uh, I'll find out. I mean, she won't be able to swallow it, like... Jesus Christ. Mom, are you... I wouldn't want to wake her up. 
Oh my god. What like what do you tell your little sister, you know? I know. You even wanted to see her like that? You saw her? Yes. I am so sorry. I'm thirsty. I'm Friday, nice to meet you. <laughs> Did you get your ration? Let me, I'll get it for you. So and she's like, can I see mommy? And you're like, mm. um, she's oh, no. not here. <laughs> she's not feeling well just now. Where is mama? In the hospital, in Nishinomiya. She's sleeping. We'll stay here at the school tonight. Then tomorrow, we'll go to stay at our aunt's house near the hospital, okay? Kids can't help it, can they? Like, their emotions are always just, like, all over their face. Yep. We're all staying on the second floor. Why don't you stop by later? Oh. Thank you for all your kindness. We will. See you later, then. Bye now. How are you so happy? See you later then. Bye she's, now. She's like, trying to keep a brave face on for the kids. I know. Oh, little one. There's me all like, you know, she's doing really well for someone in a war. And she's just standing there crying. Yep. Can you go give your sister a hug, please? I know. <laughs> It's like, don't just leave her sitting there crying. Tell her it'll be fine. What do you say, though? Like, they've just destroyed your home. Let's go. Watch me. I'm good at this. Aww. I mean, you are good at that. But I was she's, gonna say, you're, but you're not. Yeah. Like, she's not looking, though. Come on, he's getting dizzy. One set, let's go. Set, let's go. Aww. Oh, so sad. My heart is breaking just now. Like, you think you would realize that? Believe me, you don't want to see the body. With this Aww. heat we're having, she'll have to go on the truck today. God, who's cutting onions in here? Where's your sister? Wow. Anishinomiya. We have a distant aunt there. I think she'll take care of us. I see. Lucky for you. Well, what else could they do? You know, you just leave bodies in the street. So sad. Well, now I'm glad that they didn't go with the mum, because they would have just been the same. Yep. At least the the girl didn't see her like that. Well, now they're orphans. Yep. More as hell. It's sad though, it's just it's the little people that get punished always. You know, they had nothing to do with it. They were just living their lives. Yep, but all hail the Emperor, am I right? I don't like that they said at the start and this was the day I die. Because now I'm like, oh my god. Like, the end of this movie is going to be horrible. Yep. <laughs> Mama! Oh. How is your mother? Is she at Kaisei? Yeah. Lucky your dad's in the Navy. You get to have a truck help move you over here. I've laid out futons and mosquito netting in your room. Yeah, we're all feeling really good right about now. But why have they not told their aunt that she's dead? I don't understand. Doesn't Mama need her ring? Did she give it to me to keep for her? You gotta look after it for your Mama. I mean, maybe it was just down to the boy to tell the aunt, and because the sister was there, he wasn't going to say anything. When mom's a little better, I'll take you to see her. Mm. Time for bed, okay? Mm. I'm so confused. Well, what was that thing that they put on her wrist when they took her out? Was it's that an ID tag. She was dead. She yeah, was dead dead. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure that was her gone. But that's the, he's got a box with her ashes in it. I think that's what that is. And he hid it out back. Oh, he obviously just doesn't want to say anything just now. Oh, and that's the stuff that you buried. I think that's the thing. If you knew that it would keep everyone safe and happy, then I would keep it the secret too.
It's like it's such happy scene, but I just feel like crying. Yeah. I'm just like, oh god. Like so positive when your world has literally just crumbled all around you. And you could choose to be like, well, I'm done. What's the point? But he's like, right, time to get to work, time to clean it up and Yeah, go get our stash of stuff and get back on it. What is that? Like a pickled radish or something? I was gonna say, oh meatball. Definitely pickles based on that Good reaction. Pickles, I can't stand pickles. I love pickles. It's like pickled onion crisps. Who even are you? Why are you eating those? I'm Stejo and I like pickled onion crisps. <laughs> Some dried potato. potato. Pickled plums. Pickled plums! <gasps> and I do believe this is butter. I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> anyway, did you stop by the hospital today? I'd like to tell your mother all the things that have been happening. And I could take Setsuko along to visit her. Oh, that's not good. I should probably tell your aunt, mate. My mom passed away while she was still at the school. What? She's dead? Then why didn't you tell me? Why were you hiding it? Well, why did you think? Answer me, child. I didn't want Setsuko to know. She has to know eventually. How awful. Well, you'd best write your father and tell him. Is that oh, that's your awful. Oh. Anyway. Hey, anyway, thank you for the best food because you're a soldier's boy. Hey, hey. Yeah. Santa. Look, she brought me new shoes. Oh. <laughs> Good for you, Setsuko. Hello there. Watch this. Oh, oh bubbles. <laughs> Gosh, I remember when I used to bath with my brother. That was a long time ago. <laughs> What's making that noise? Huh? Bullfrogs. I was gonna say it's a cow, and then I'm like, I'm glad I didn't. Ready? Come on, catch it. Uh, and squish. <laughs> Do we get those? No. Oh, she, oh, it. she killed it! You squashed it. Uh, it smells. <laughs> Don't squeeze so hard next time. Don't lick your hand as well. That would be gross. Need to leave space for it. Do it slow. God, I'm just sitting here like, uh, the moment when she finds out about her mom. Like, oh no. Yeah. Hey, Setsuko. Close your eyes and say ah. Why should I? Come on, just do it. Ah. He's gonna feed you one of them. Ah. Oh, he's got sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, she'd choke and put it in like that. I'm eating my candy and taking my time <laughs> and... Oh. Choking. Oh. Swallowed it. Close, I almost swallowed it. <laughs> they just suck on them. <laughs> I never had sweeties when I was younger. I wish I did. I'd probably have a lot less teeth though. Probably. Oh, chef snacks. We're home. Where were you two? Out playing with sweeties. What were you doing? Did you thank the lady? Yes, ma'am. Oh, I don't like her. Well, you'd think that she'd be a bit more upset about her sister. You know? I think so. But she's probably not just like, oh great, now I have to look after the kids. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh oh. Seta, why aren't you up? Shouldn't you be going to school? Or something? Yeah. But the steelworks they had me working in was bombed the other day. And my school burned down. There's no place to go. Well, I hope you've written to your father. I did that. I sent it through the naval office. When? She really doesn't want anything to do with him, does she? No. Return the scissors when you've finished with them, Setsuko. Duh. Yeah, you can tell. Well, she obviously has no kids, so she has no idea how to be with them. Well, she's just an asshole. The war effort is eating up all our supplies. You're right. That's why food's getting so hard to find. 
Our soldiers aren't the only ones who are suffering. You work for our country's defense too, young lady. Eat up and work as hard as you can. Do you notice how she only gave him broth? But no rice. But no, or whatever else that was. Not uh -oh. again. Not again. So you've taken in a couple of homeless children. Poor things losing their mother when they're so young. No. What's wrong? You got an itch? It's hot. I hate shelters. Just hang on. We'll be out of here soon enough. Gosh, just too young. To have to deal with this crap. Oh no. That like, breaks my heart. Look at the bottom there. That can. Hey, so important. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. <laughs> like she just wants to be carefree and like be a live kid. her yeah, be a kid, basically. <laughs> so I'm guessing the sirens go off just in case there's like threat of more yeah, bombs air, coming yeah, down. Air raid sirens. But she's like, oh, I wish I could just fly away. Get away from this place. I just feel like I'm one of these people that's like, I hate war. I, I always like to think that there's a better way to resolve things, even though I know that most of the time it goes to violence, but... You would hope so anyway. But we watch enough TV to know that people don't know how to communicate. <laughs> All right, hurry up, let's go. Hopefully they don't steal her shoes. Her brand new shoes. Yeah. Uh oh. Why did you not help your little sister get I undressed? I know, like what is that all about? I guess she has to learn herself, doesn't she? But yeah. still. Oh. <laughs> What's the marks on her? It might be a little cold. That's strange, she's got like two red marks on her back. <laughs> it's a <Aww>. big bath! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, the movie's being far too nice right now. You're falling in love with the characters and it's like, oh my god. Oh no. Something real bad's gonna happen. What's she doing? Playing with her sweetie. Uh, Go get the crab. Go get it. Crab's like, oh no, you don't. Yeah, 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 yeah. Snippy, snippy, crab. Snippy, snippy. You better watch her snip your feet. That's good. What's wrong? Is he sleeping? Oh no. Oh, Why would someone just leave a fucking body there? Uh, don't look at that. When it gets a little warmer, I'll teach you how to swim. Let's swim, then we can eat. <laughs> I would have just said, yeah, he's sleeping, don't disturb him. We'll swim, yeah. that will make us hungry. See, this is what I should have had when I was younger, because I still can't swim, and I wish I could. Yeah. Oh, Mom. She's definitely the nice one out of the sisters, wasn't she? Yeah. <laughs> oh no. I feel like I'm watching Silent Hill. Like anytime the things go off, I'm like, oh god, darkness is coming. I'm hungry. Oh. Let's get home before we're caught in the next air raid. I'm tired. Please carry me. Oh no. Oh Christ. Why are the alarms not still going off? I've been trading off my things little by little for food we need. Oh. You can probably get a full toe of rice for them. That much? You need your nourishment, you know. I mean, how can you be a soldier if you don't grow up healthy? A whole toe of rice? Your mother would be glad that you didn't let them just go to waste. Oh, why don't I take them for you? 
Well, as long as we actually get the stuff. Yeah. Let's go. Let them go. No. Let's go. No. Let's go. No. No. Uh. No. No. But what use would other people have for kimonos and things, you know? Mm hmm. <laughs> Stan's just like his dad. <laughs> You used to have to wait, what was it, 45 seconds for the camera to go off or something. Oh, there used to be, you used to have to wait donkeys. Yeah, which is why they, none of them ever smiled, because why would you? Such fine rice. So do you think she knows now? We'll have a no. proper rice dinner tonight, let's go. Here, this is your share. What? What do you mean share? We're family. I know. Like we're living together. It's all a share. With my daughter and our lodge, you're working so, so hard. So wait, do you think that that's that why she didn't give him rice? Because he hadn't earned it. To give them. It was her rice. Maybe. It's great, huh? Real white rice. More, please. Sure. Aww. You're just gobbling it down tonight, aren't you, Setsuko? Mm -hmm. It's very good. I just feel like, how could you ever be horrible to her? I know. Bye, Mom. Take care. Oh, she does have kids. We'll have okay. Nice for lunch. <laughs> yeah. Just hold on until then. You stop that. You'll have porridge for lunch, too. You think a lazy slug like you deserves the same as people who are working so hard for our nation? Whoa, bitch. Really, Seta? You're certainly old enough to know that everyone has got to cooperate. You keep saying you want rice, but do you do anything to earn this rice you want? No, you don't. My mom just died. I uh, know. Like, what? I don't even want to be here. What an asshole. I even give you some rice and you still complain. But it's our rice in the first place. Amen, yeah, exactly. sister. Oh, I'm cheating you, am I? How dare you say that? After I take you two into my home. Fine. Here's a new rule. From now on, we'll make our own dinners. How do you like that? Tell me, Seta. You have other relatives in Tokyo, don't you? Some people on your mother's side of the family. Why not write to them? So is that his dad's sister then? My God. What an actual bitch. Oh, I'm so... Good lord. We've all got struggles, do you know what I mean? I loved her piping up just then though, that was nice. Yeah. Like, it's our rice anyway. Like, we literally gave our own mother's clothes away and you took half of that. Aye. Uh, like, their mother would never have agreed to that. I'm really hungry and thirsty too. Okay. Can't just survive on sweeties, Here. right? Here, a fruit drop. Well, it oh, keeps her quiet long enough. <laughs> so at least it keeps her happy. I'm telling Dad to write back soon because Setsuko is waiting. Now write your name. Oh, Dad, please write back. Oh, no. You can't buy a stove like this easily nowadays. You know what I mean. It's almost impossible to find any hardware to sell. <laughs> That's me every morning. <laughs> It's raining cats and dogs. It's raining cats and dogs. But, but I have, have a raincoat and my big red rubber clogs. That's a really sad looking umbrella. Yeah. <laughs> At least it's enough to cover her. Totoro would love it. Yeah, it would. So are they still living with their auntie then? And that yeah, should do it. Be careful with that fire. Right. Oh, she's raging though, isn't she? That he's able to go out and provide for them. Yep. Mom, did you ever scold them again? Yes, and they refused to apologize. And that boy even bought a stove just to spite me. What? You told him! <laughs> <sighs> you can't do that. That's bad manners. We can sit any way we want to. Doesn't matter. Oh, so cute. 
pretty soon they're gonna have more food there. than Rice for two. the other That's three. It. Yep. Next ration will be in July. <laughs> and it's currently December. <laughs> Right, sweetie. Let me. She's on left. Oh no. Crap, our backup plan is done. <laughs> it's like, come on, one stuck to the bottom. There's gotta be. That's the lucky. Oh. oh and some shards. You gotta make that count. I don't give her the triple, I break it up. Yeah, break it up into three. Ah, good girl. <laughs> now she understands rationing. Yeah. Gotta ration your sweeties, otherwise you'll run out. Mmm, <laughs> tasty. <laughs> I don't think she rationed the rest of them. I don't think so. I think she ate them all on the way home. Wait, does that make it nice water now if you shake it all about? Uh, uh, let me. Ready? It'll only taste good once as well. Yeah. Because all the flavor will be gone after that. Here. It must be so like satisfying it? for him though, being like, I'm doing all this for my sister. Yeah. And managing it as well. Yeah, a big middle finger to that horrible aunt. Strawberry, mint, melon, all the flavors are in there. Now you drink it all up, okay? Just wait till she gets a toothache and you're done, okay? <laughs> From all those sweeties. Uh oh. Great. They left the dishes for me to do. Uh oh. So selfish, honestly. Those little brats are two of the worst children in the world. Yeah, of course. Say to please. That man and my daughter work hard for our nation all day long. We can't have her crying, keeping them awake. We've enough trouble getting any sleep with all of these air raids. All right. Thanks for your input. How were you ever a mum? I mean, obviously she was never a good mum. That would be my dad. How do I make this thing shut up? <laughs> but why did she say that man and my daughter? Uh oh. Oh, goody. At least you're awake for it. Well, that's it. Like, see you later, bitches. <laughs> It just irritates me because he's still so respectful to someone who doesn't deserve it. Yeah. Well, your home burned down, kiddo. We don't have a house to go back to. Yeah, I wish you could go home as well. Stupid auntie. The big ones, Papa, and the little ones, the kids. Stop it! Oh, don't man. Don't give myself. God. There's a war going on? You two are nothing but trouble for me. A couple of pests, that's what you are. Well, then no leave. during the raids. <laughs> Take, take, take. You could go live in that shelter for all I care. Please tell her. Oh. Just kill her in her sleep. We can live here. Huh? No one seems to be using it. It seems sturdy enough. And we can live just like we want to. Can we live here really? Oh. Mm -hmm. Be a much better living there than going back to them. It's, it's really sad though, because like... Even if they disappeared, she'd be like, thank God they didn't come home last night. I know, but now they're literally homeless because of her being a fucking asshole. We've bothered you long enough. We should be leaving now. You're leaving? For where? None of your, None business. Of your business. Don't business. follow us. Oh. Well then, you two. Bye-bye. See you later. Two kids. Yeah, having a good time. Laughter. Mm. Ever heard of it? <laughs> and this will be the kitchen. <laughs> and this will be the front door. But where's the bathroom? 
name Satan? Hmm? Ah, we haven't got that far just yet. In the water. To be young and playing house though, I remember it in my little Wendy house. I'd be so happy just being like, this <laughs> is my kitchen. and Setting everything up. Yeah. Do you think you can sell my sister and I a little bit of food and maybe a bale of straw? I guess so. There's not much left though. Oh. But what's he doing to afford this stuff? Like, is he getting some money back somehow? I don't know actually. Obviously they were selling mum stuff, but yeah. I think the auntie took advantage of that. Yeah, she did. Uh oh. Oh, coppers. <laughs> Makes me feel like after this movie I'm gonna phone up my brother and just be like, do you remember that time when we were kids? <laughs> <laughs> No manners. Who's that auntie think that she is? Oh, it smells so good. See, who needs them? Yep. Manage all by themselves. I couldn't eat that much rice though. I gotta <laughs> got say, like, my stomach, no. Catch that frog, you're good eating in a frog. It's a cow. Are you going to tell her about her well, mum? I guess we can always eat frogs if we have to. See? Frogs? Yeah, they taste great. You better get under the mosquito net now. I was going to say, it'd be pretty itchy living in the wild though, wouldn't it? Mm. What's wrong? I forgot my toothbrush. One oh. night without it won't matter. It's getting pretty buggy out here. You better go get under the net. Scratching again. It's dark in there. I'm scared. Well, there's plenty of light out here. Well, they could, in their little rice jar, they could just catch some. Look, a kamikaze. Hmm. Looks like a firefly. Yeah. <laughs> and toilet paper. Just hey, use a leaf. Let's catch some. See? Okay, get in. <laughs> Ready? Let there be light. They're so pretty, aren't they? I can see you. Oh. <laughs> I can see you too. But if you catch them in your little jar, you can keep them. And they won't be landing on your head. Bugs are probably like, let me out of here! Oh. Well, hopefully they don't bite, because then the net's kind of pointless, isn't it? <laughs> the net's keeping them in at this point. This wouldn't be very nice if you go to sleep, you've got all these bloody lights and <sighs> landing on your head and... Well, I don't know if they buzz or not, but if they do, it'd be very annoying. Should I put them in the jar? It's like when you, you're lying in bed and you've got that galaxy thing where you can get all the stars on the wall. Come on, hands up who had that when they were younger. We all did. They must have PTSD of like airplanes. A oh, lot yeah. of people in Japan must do, actually. Why is that? Just older people from the bombing, like the sounds of the planes coming over and that. I don't know, because the UK got hella bombed as well. I think it's more the air raid siren sound. Yeah, which luckily you would never really hear nowadays. Unless you're in Silent Hill. We touched on that. So do you think the dad's still alive? Mm, don't know. I doubt it. Enemy plane! Ba -ba 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 Jesus. Are you okay there? I wonder where Dad is fighting right about now. Well, at least she's getting some sleep. Missing her pillow. She kind of missed the assignment on that one. Oh. Get off me, Sita. <laughs> he just needed a hug, okay? <laughs> it must be hard. Because he's old enough to know. Yeah. He's old enough to have, like, he's seen his mum burnt alive. His auntie doesn't want him. No one cares about him. His dad's not getting back to him. Like, no one compliments his effort. 
So, yeah. What you doing? Making a grave. Mama's in a grave too. Oh. 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 Auntie told me about it. She said that Mama died and that she's in a grave now. Oh my god, what a bitch. Oh. Like, that was not her place to do that. No, but would he have ever got the courage to do it? But still consult him about it. Well. <sighs> do you remember the graveyard, Setsuko? That really pretty one out near Nunobiki? That's where she is now. Resting peacefully under a big camphor tree. Why do farm boys have to die so soon? Oh. <laughs> we will always get more fireflies. I was gonna say, Mum's not under no camphor tree. Well, how do you tell her? You know, Mum's right here. She's in this little box. In this, you know, in ashes. <laughs> wow, looks like somebody's living here. They probably lost their house. Maybe oh. it's some crazy hermit. I mean, nope. kind of. It's a swing. Hey, a kid lives here. What's this? Rest in peace, rest in peace. <laughs> um. Oh, I wish it was real food. Oh, stop, stop messing with it. with it. Look, guys, dried out frog guts. Uh, who'd want to eat that? Nobody I know would ever eat this stuff. Well then, keep on walking. Ground soybeans. Yeah. And I thought the food I got was bad. A ghost! A ghost! Ghost! <laughs> 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 no! Hey, wait up! Well, some kids are obviously living a better life. I know, right? I've traded everything for rice, even my mom's kimono. There's nothing left to trade. There you go. He was trading everything. Sorry, I can't trade or sell anything to you. I'm a farmer, but I'm afraid even I don't have any rice to share. Oh. Gosh, she's proper, isn't she? And she? It's like all she seems to do. To help you? Yep. I don't know how to contact any of them. Then take my advice and just go back to the woman in the village. No, you've Look, no idea. Everything's rationed now. You can't survive outside of the system. Just swallow your pride and apologize to her. For what did I do? But how can he not just get his own rations? I don't get it. Thanks anyway. I'll just go ask someone else. I said I would walk for miles. Man, aren't you? So try to be brave. Why can't you take him in? Look out! Oh my god. No warning on that one. Nope. Nice food there though. Stealing now. Listen, when you're hungry, you're hungry. Is it good? Nope. <laughs> I mean, I'd make sure it's not filled with bugs and... You gotta do what you gotta do, though, to survive. Yep. Uh-oh. We shall keep on walking. See you later. Listen, everyone's out here just oh, trying no. to survive. Uh. Like, how do you know if it's stolen? Do you know what I mean? Like, just just because they're young, it doesn't mean anything. They could just be out there, like, doing it for some adult. I don't know. Duckies. <laughs> It's so sad because you just see it just going down and down and down. You know what I mean? Yeah, they were so happy to be like, this is our place. And and now it's like the survival begins. Also, as long as you can fish, you can probably... Lice. Yeah. <laughs> oh my it god. It doesn't matter if you like it or not. You have to eat. You need to so you can grow up strong. Satan? Hmm? Sides feel really funny. Oh. Are you cold? 
I've been having diarrhea. <laughs> oh, girl. Hey, you! Uh, hey! Sorry! Sorry! I didn't mean to! I didn't mean to! It just fell! Stealing food is a serious crime in wartime! You! God damn! Come back here! Run for that! How can it be a serious crime just in wartime? That's the most time that people are gonna be stealing food. That's why it's so serious, because everything's rationed. Uh -oh. What the hell? Potatoes too? So you're the one who's been stealing my crops. Uh, I'm sorry! <laughs> I'll never do it again, I swear. I promise you'll never see me again. Tell it to the cops. I'll take you there myself. Now walk. I hope Please. they lock you up for the rest of the war. Please. Oh, okay, and the little girl? No. no. Move! Zeta! Zeta! Like, how could you at least not understand? Well, how could you take him away and leave a little girl just sitting there? Thank you for the information, sir, and I'll take care of this. You may go now. But, officer... You've knocked this poor kid around enough. I'm even tempted to call it assault. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I suppose you heard about the latest attack. Would you like a glass of water or something, son? Well, he's awfully nice. <laughs> we get more people like him what in the hell? area? What the hell? Oh. Setsuko. He's trying so hard to be strong around her and it's just falling apart. Yep. But what's he supposed to do, you know? He's doing his best. Sita. I don't get it though. Like, where's the other orphans? They must be somewhere. Can I get a doctor for you, Sita? No. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that guy seems so nice. I wish he would have helped in some way. But why is he so afraid to ask for help, though? Like, his sister is obviously really struggling, and he can't really provide. Oh, God. Oh, my God. He's staying out while everyone's going in the shelters to nick their food. Wow. Oh, dude. That's a risk and a half. I know. I hope you're bringing some back for her. Yeah, well, I'm sure he will. This pumpkin is great. Tastes like sweet bean jelly. But I don't like that stuff. Look, if you don't eat, Dad will blame me for it. Come on, ready? I'll even help you, okay? Aww. Now come on, cheer up and eat. Once you're better, I'll take you to the beach again, Setsuko, I promise. Gosh, she's getting really, really sick, isn't she? Yep. At least you don't need to worry about that because you live in a shelter. Well, that's it. Mind you, though, what if something collapsed at the front, though? Oh, there goes that village. Yeah, and all the food in it. Oh, and he's running towards it to steal more stuff. Yeah, so he can trade and... Uh, I want to say it's not worth your life, but I mean, you're dying without it, yeah. so it's... Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Like, he's like, yeah, keep bombing! Let's be honest, though, all that stuff would end up burned up anyway. Might as well go to someone who's brave enough to get it. I wouldn't be happy if they robbed my house of all my stuff, though. <laughs> he's like, I'm a hero. He's yeah. like the marshmallow man, <laughs> look at him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's like, I understand that it's for survival, but you're robbing people here who also need the stuff to survive. Yeah, two wrongs, you know. Now I'll really get you something good to eat, Setsuko. 
but it's coming from a good place and I don't know. If it was your family, what would you do? Anything. That's the point. Why are you leaving your can of sweeties out there? So you're telling me these were your mothers? Oh, please. Trying to pawn your garbage off on me. Get out of here. Well, why wouldn't you believe that? I don't know. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, Setsuko. Setsuko. But he's been fishing, so... Like, surely there's... Something else he can get to eat. Get the bug off her face then. She won't like that. <sighs> yeah. Oh. She obviously needs like antibiotics or something. Oh, oh my god. And food. She's been having diarrhea for a while now. Prickly heat and rashes all over her body. And her skin seems very sensitive to any salt water. Weakening from malnutrition, it's typical. Probably due to diarrhea. Next patient. Can't you give her medicine or a shot? Don't want a shot. We don't have much choice, my girl. All this child needs is some food. A good meal. She needs food. How can I help you? Uh, I, Where am I supposed to get food? Exactly. The girl's literally dying and you're like, oh, she only needs some food. And you wonder why he's off stealing constantly. Well, it's obviously not working for him, is it? I don't think ice shavings are food. It's just water, isn't it? I'm so hungry. What do you want to eat? Tempura. Oh. Sashimi. Jelly. Anything else? Ice cream. Oh. And also, I want fruit drops. Fruit drops? It's just, it, oh, it's so disgusting that the auntie is like, off you go, knowing that this is how it could be. No, no. I don't want anything. You can have it. Oh. Don't go. Stay with me. Don't leave me alone. I don't want you to worry, Setsuko. I'm going to go buy you some good nourishing food, okay? There must be something that you can do, you know? I can't believe it. You can just see your ribs and everything. How bad would you feel, though, if, like, your sister died, you know, and it's because you couldn't get her food? Just... That you failed. Oh, man. Are you saying we lost the war? Uh, so you haven't heard, young man? You're telling me Japan's lost the war? The great Japanese empire? Yeah. Surrendered unconditionally. <laughs> yep. Well, what about the fleet? Are they... Ha, ha, all gone. The whole fleet's been sent to the bottom of the sea. Not one left to float. What? Was my dad's ship sunk too? Do you know? Please, tell me, is that why he hasn't written me back? How the hell should I know? <laughs> crazy kid. What do you mean, crazy kid? Like, listen what? to what he's saying. Yeah, how callous can you be? Oh, yeah, they're all fucking dead. Well, all right, cheers, mate. Dickhead. Well, he's sitting there thinking life can't get much worse, can it? That's well, like the one glimmer of hope was his dad, you know? He's dead too. Dead. <laughs> well, so at least he won't be getting bombed anymore. I mean, listen, there's always a chance. There's always a chance that he survived. Until I knew for sure that's what I'd have to go with. Yeah. What's she eating? What is she eating? Did she have a sweetie left? I'm sorry that I'm so late, Satsuko. No. I'll go ahead and start making up some rice. Oh, there you go. And I'll have oh, 
Should delirious? I bought us some chicken and I got a few eggs. Oh. And I also have. It's a stone or something, isn't it? Oh no. She's eating her buttons. This is a marble. It isn't a drop. I brought you something really special. I know that you're going to like it. Jesus Lord, well you got that on time? One what? Set's gone. Baseball. Oh. I made them for you. Here. Here, have, have one. Can you just hurry up and cook something before she freaking dies? I know, Jesus Christ. Oh, watermelon. Look here. Watermelon. And I didn't steal it. I don't think she cares where it comes from. No. <laughs> Just give her something to munch, please. Here, eat it. Keep those seeds. That's good. Oh, this is like the hardest thing I've ever freaking watched. I'll leave the melon right here for you. Oh. Okay? I swear to God, so that's the war over. There's gonna be no more bombings. Things will get better, better. Yep. But it's like, you guys just need to hold on. Why didn't you feed her a little bit more? Come on, little one, eat your melon. She never woke up. <gasps> Why didn't you just feed her? Look at the state of him. This movie's horrible. I know. There you go. Charcoal for the cremation. Now, since it's a little child, you really should do it at a temple. About the body, it should be lightly dressed and use beanstalks for a good fire. In spite of it all, it's a lovely day. It's like, dude, we're talking about my freaking sister. I oh, know. Like, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, world's going back to normal. I miss this view. Um. Blame it on the auntie. Literally, like you yeah. can blame all of that on the auntie. Didn't even go looking for him. You know, just didn't care. Just whatever. No. See ya. Death sentence. So obviously he's the guy at the very start, you know? Yeah. <sighs> like she just wanted it to be her own little home. And even when her mum died, she was just like, I'm just making a grave like for mum. You know, like she took everything. Yep. So needless as well, you know? <laughs> All it needed was just for any of them to give a damn. It's so sad. It's like all the people that they came <laughs> across, you know. Yeah. Anyone could have helped, but they were just so wrapped up in their own problems. They just didn't care. <laughs> Doesn't taste good, does it? <laughs> or maybe it does, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're gonna win. At least she managed to amuse herself when he was gone. Ay, ay, ay. So these movies know how to kill you, don't they? I think this is worse than your name. <laughs> 
Way worse. Well, your name was sad, but it was nice, you know? You have to hold on to something. You can't... I don't know. That's the thing that the man threw away at the start. He did everything he could. At least he can know that. Just such a shame. It's just so freaking sad. It's just normal people just lose everything over something that's not their fault, nothing to do with them. How could you? Too many memories. Oh. That's when it all went wrong, when she ran out of sweeties. It just breaks my heart, all the things that the auntie said about him, like, oh, you're not doing anything and yeah. blah, blah, blah. Or you need to help with the war. So like, well, maybe if he had someone that would look after his fucking sister. Well, that was it. His job was to look after his sister. Whew. And then he ends up dying in a fucking subway station. <sighs> yeah, and they threw the tin away and it like obviously burst open at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. And now you understand what's in it. <sighs> but it's okay. It's just so sad. <laughs> Oh. We're supposed to be watching happy movies for Christmas. I know. <laughs> it was just so raw. Like, it was so real. Just thinking, like, she was such a little girl. And obviously I know it affects him too. But it's the way that, like, he tried to protect her from everything. Yeah, he tried his best. And it just, like I said, you just see it just all going downhill, you know. Traded away his mum's stuff. Like, started stealing stuff, just trying to feed to them. Yeah. But I don't understand, like, what was with the rations? Like, how could other people survive just fine? Do you know what I mean? But Well, didn't she say in the beginning that because they had someone who was in the war that they got better rations? Yeah, I, yeah. But... So she was taking advantage of the fact that her sister's husband was a soldier... And that wasn't her just... sister's husband, it was her brother. Right, well there you go then. She was getting what she was because her brother was a soldier. Uh, well, uh, she she had her brother's kids. So it was, like you say, was she just... She was just taking advantage. Taking their rations. And then didn't want to share, which is why she was angry that suddenly she had to deal with two more kids. And she was happy that they left. She was but like, well, good. Yeah, but surely she would have been getting their rations as well. Like, yeah, I just don't get... I just don't get the auntie. She was such an asshole. It's like we all go through hard times, but... Like, their mum's just fucking died. Like, you've got a kid of your own, surely. Yeah, you must understand. Something like that would have resonated with you. That was literally like... It was interesting that they said at the beginning that um, this was my last day on earth sort of thing. Yeah. And I thought, all right, he's going to sacrifice himself for his sister and there'll be like a moment like that. I, I think I was expecting that. No, but I, I really wasn't. With the fact, like, with the bone coming out of the little tin, and it was like a little bone. Yeah. I was like, oh, this is just going to be awful. It was. Yeah. I feel like I need to just go stand outside in the rain with the smallest umbrella and just let the rain hit me. Oh. Merry Christmas, <laughs> everyone. I know, why are we watching these horrible movies? Well, I read the synopsis, but I didn't read, like... Well, it's just a boy looking after his sister. Yeah, you know? and I thought, well, that'll be nice. You know, it'll be educational, but it'll be nice. I didn't think that it was literally she's going to starve to death and struggle, and then he's going to ultimately starve to death too. You know, it was just... It was so happy. You know, it really was so happy, which is what made it even worse. Yeah. It was like he got out of the toxic 
place with his auntie and all of these things and he's like well good for you you guys are gonna make it you don't need no one and then it just started to go so wrong like she's starving she's getting bitten and then you know she gets sick ultimately and yeah as you said he's stealing and it, yeah that yeah. yeah i don't reckon it was just the starving thing i reckon there was something more to her being itchy and that. i reckon that she had something and she probably just needed antibiotics Something that you really take for granted for in this day and age where it's like, oh, you've got an infection, take the, this course of antibiotics and you'll be fine. Yeah. And then you think back to times like that where it's like, well, if you don't have antibiotics, then you will die. Yeah. You know, and ultimately she did. Oh, brother. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching this movie Ooh. with us. Um, Hopefully tomorrow's will be more positive. Yeah. <laughs> Two days in a row of just... Well, that one was brutal. That one was brutal. Whereas your name was like, I was crying happy tears. But that one was just like, never be those people. You know what I mean? Never be the adults that you see in that movie. Like Always treat people with kindness because yeah. you never know what they're going through. It, well, they knew what they were going through though. That's the crazy thing. They were all going through the same thing. Yeah. And they still didn't care. Everyone was so greedy and so selfish. They did not care. And... Two kids died because of it. Kid and a teenager, I guess. But anyways, this has been day four, I wanna say, of yes. movie marathon week. That means it is almost Christmas and hopefully this will be the last time that you cry before Christmas. No more tears. Oh, it's Christmas Eve 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 Eve. Yeah. So anyways, regardless to the time of year, I hope you did enjoy our reaction to that movie. Not one that I had ever heard of from this studio, but one that I would recommend to anyone just to just to watch. It's definitely one of those. Yeah, if you want to cry. I just thought it was a good movie overall. Like, sure. It was a good movie overall. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in tomorrow's movie special. Bye. Thank you.